Yeah. I try to give people, even police officers, the benefit of the, now, the right. doubt when it comes to this kind of stuff. I, I am not the person that, and we can talk about this Makia Bryant shooting, which I think is a completely different situation. And yeah. which is a, it, it, and I do believe that there are many people who aren't saying what they saw on that video because they don't want to make other people angry. And, and we can talk yes. about that. Yeah. And, 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 and meanwhile, I don't even think that's as cut and dry as people on the, the pro police officer side say it is, but it's certainly more murky than people that are presenting it as, you know, the police showed up and just killed a poor child who right. did nothing wrong. Right. Um, and, that, and, and again, he, he saved a black woman. I don't know. <laughs> he saved someone's life. Uh, Makia Bryant was, uh, as I understand it, she was at her foster home and she was being threatened or she called the police because she was being bullied and threatened by the other two girls that were there. Mm -hmm. The police officer shows up. He know All he knows in that moment is that he is responding to threats of violence, to a terrorist threat or threat of violence, whatever, whatever they call it in Ohio. Sure. And he's getting out of his car and he sees a bunch of people standing there. Some of them are arguing. OK, but that's all he sees. He's trying to figure out what's going on. And out of nowhere, a girl runs out, a, a woman runs out and tackles another woman. The one who tackled the, the woman is holding a knife and like hits her or something like that, turns around with the knife and lunges at someone else and is literally, I mean, there's pictures, I have screenshots yeah. of this, of her holding the knife to the girl's neck, about to stab her, and I would presume to death if she could, uh, mm -hmm. And the officer and the officer has his gun out the whole time. As soon as he sees her run, he has his gun out. He's saying, drop it, drop it, drop it, because he sees the knife, right? Mm -hmm. And so he's saying, drop it, drop it, drop it, drop it, drop it. And right when she's about to stab someone, he shoots her. Right. Now, there are people saying, oh, it was on technically on her property because it was her foster home and they were threatening her. She was defending herself. Okay, great. Let's say she was defending herself. In that moment, the police officer who's showing up right. to a respond responding to you know a a uh, uh, you know threats of violence and seeing someone attack people with a knife does not have the luxury of the time. None of us right. would have the luxury of the time to go. Hmm. I wonder if this stabbing that's about to happen in front of me <laughs> is as a result of the person in the pink who, when I showed up, was just standing here. I wonder if she did something first that would make her deserving of such a thing. And I wonder if the girl doing the stabbing, if this is her property and she lives here, right. or if the reason I was called was because of this girl, <laughs> I better let this play out. I think it's yeah. I think it is absurd to expect that the officer would have done that. Right. Like, I, I think it was it would be absurd. And especially and now you see multiple camera angles where it was not as though the girls were fighting when he showed up. She came out of nowhere and started tackling people. And there's right. angles of camera angles showing this. And do we know who you called the this, cops? Was it the girl that was going to get stabbed that called the cops or was it? it no, it was no, it, no, it was Michaela. It was Michaela or Micaiah. Uh, okay. uh, Makaya or Michaela, it was her that called the police, which makes this even weirder because yeah. it's like, okay, you've called the police because you want them to come to deal with this. He's here now. Right. Why wouldn't you drop the knife? You've got someone who has a gun out. So if anyone else is going to hurt you, clearly he's ready to stop them. Yes. What, what, what's the knife for at this point? And it's, and if anything, you should have been running to the cop saying, Hey, I'm the hey, guy. Or, I'm the one guy. It's I, me. Hey guy, I just called. It's me now. Right. So Maybe she was probably the only person who knew the cops were even coming. There's a good chance of that, right? Or, or, or one of the few. Right. But regardless, maybe she snapped. Maybe these two girls have been bothering her so long and threatening her so long she just snapped. What is the officer supposed to do in that right. moment, right? right? Like, like seriously, what? And I, I've looked at, I've looked at this video so many times, and it's incredibly disturbing. Uh, because I don't, I, I, you know, I don't, I don't want the cop to be a murderer, but I, I don't want this to be that, oh, you know, she should have dropped the knife and that's why he kept, but I mean, in that moment, what would any of us have done? Yes. Your job is to stop a threat of violence. You have been called to stop a threat of violence. And here someone is knocking people over that were not fighting her in that moment. You have no time to ascertain what's going on. You're telling the person with the knife, just drop the knife. Because then mm -hmm. that way you can try to figure out what's going on here. And instead, she's actively going to stab someone. I, yeah. there, what was he supposed to do in that moment?